pasi kwa uwe nzako. The next to speak on this is uh, the Honorable Tandaza. You are next. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute on this very important and urgent matter, matters on health. Honorable Speaker, matters on health are in our Constitution, Article 43, which clearly states that every Kenyan has a right to the highest attainable standard of health. He does not only have a right for health, but the highest standard of health. That is what the Constitution says, the supreme law of this land. Honorable Speaker, for any country to develop amongst the 12 pillars of competitiveness for any nation, health is number four. So we cannot downplay the importance of health when it comes to the nation, especially our country, Kenya. But how is health handled in this country? As the previous speakers have said, there has been marginaliz marginalization in terms of health facilities in this country. Point home is my county quale. We do not have a referral hospital. Not only a referral hospital, but even a level 5 hospital. Not even a level 4 hospital. And this is a whole county. So you can imagine, when it comes to enacting, actualizing the Constitution in the right of every Kenyan, having the highest standard of health, and you have somebody from Kwale County where within the whole of that county there isn't even a referral hospital, not even a level 5 hospital. So we end up now with these expensive referrals that, thank to Honorable Didmas Baraza who has brought it to the attention of this house, that we need a clear policy. We need not only guidelines but policies as an act of parliament which can be taken more seriously, unlike what the PS was referring to. In fact, it saddens me that a PS would object to a motion which will make his work easier. It will streamline his department, it will streamline his operations to make it easier, which to me, he should have been the first one to say, this is something that should have come like yesterday. So, Honorable Speaker, this motion must be supported, not only as a motion, but actually be made into a bill so that, so that it can be enacted as an act of parliament and follow to the letter and operationalize. Honorable Speaker, our doctors, unfortunately, just like many other professionals, I'm not just singling doctors, but we know our professionals do not adhere to the highest standards when it comes to their ethics. We've had cases in this country, Honorable Speaker, where when a uh, tycoon, in most cases corruption, one is taken to court for corruption cases, he'll only collude with some doctors to actually refer him to a hospital abroad and he goes to abroad, therefore evading the due process of law and he stays there indefinitely. After all, he has all the money that he had obtained uh, from the taxpayer through corrupt means. You know, this is not money that he's worked for. So he, he, end up, he ends up enjoying that money in that country. As the mover of this bill has said, there are no clear guidelines that if he is to move to Mauritius for, let's say, the consulate or the embassy in that country, does, there is no regulation, there are no rules, it's not law that he has to report that the commissioner has to be informed or the ambassador has to be informed. So he literally, instead of moving to a hospital, he only checks in on the first day and moves into a resort and enjoys his money there. So this bill is so critical, even on matters fighting corruption in this country. It's not only about health. But it even, it's, it even cross-cuts the other areas. And we know corruption has been a big, big uh, issue in this country. So, since our doctors are not exempt, and we know we have corrupted doctors, they could be few, but for those few, they really do a lot of damage when it comes to matters referral. 
Honorable Speaker, when we are referring a patient from Kwale to Kenyatta National Hospital, has that doctor considered the cost, the time, the, that, that whole process of moving that patient, or is simply saying, now just go out and die? Remember, the moment that patient is referred, the nurses say this one now should have gone to Kenyatta National Hospital. We, na we are no longer attending to this patient. That family does not have the means. There, are no there isn't even adequate equipment to transfer that patient. So literally, the referrals that are being done currently, it's like it is the end time. Now, we cannot do anything here. You have just to wait for your time and die. And yet, we know with the current government, with the government that we have, it is high time we actually made sure that we have the necessary equipment, we have the necessary expertise. Wouldn't it be cheaper to move a specialist from Kenyatta National Hospital to Coast General Hospital with some equipment, attend to so many patients at a go, and like referring all those patients to Kenyatta National Hospital, when we know, even when they reach there, there is no space, the queue is so long, and one literally dies along the corridors waiting for the treatment. So, Honorable Speaker, I congratulate my brother, Didmas Baraza, for bringing this timely bill just to help the poor, to help the hustlers out there who cannot afford, who are misused, who are mistreated, who are exploited by unscrupulous doctors out there. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I support. Uh, the Honorable Karoli Mundi. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. I also rise to add my voice in support 